look at what that looks like. That's crazy. It's like right over us. the wind picking up too. Hey everyone, it's Victoria with She's Gone Country Farms. I thought I would show you guys the damage from yesterday's storm. Many of you were in the live with uh, Two Family Homestead when that storm came through and I had to excuse myself from Tech Tuesday because I really thought a tornado was going to come through. Uh, the hail was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. The wind ended up, I mean, trees that didn't get blown down were actually just sideways. The weird thing about it is I had just got, that day, I had ordered this twine that's really elasticy. Uh, MI Gardener had done a vlog about it and I really liked it, so I bought some. I got it yesterday and literally just secured 99% of my tomatoes. Within an hour, that storm came through. None of us, at least no one that I knew, was anticipating the storm. It was unbelievable. It, it just, it came in. That hail was unbelievable. I had posted a really quick video of it. Uh, then there was the literal calm before the storm. And then a windstorm came through. And so let's take a look at the damage. I haven't looked yet. I had to go to work this morning. So you and I are going to get this look together. The grill's down. No big deal. Lots of big branches down. I have some tomatoes that look like this. What I'll do is I'll just let some of these suckers grow out. It'll be fine. See, this was just someone doing me a favor. This was a sucker anyway. I should have pruned it. So this looks good. The potatoes look crazy. You can tell that an epic wind came through. They are just like flattened out. It's unbelievable. I've already, here we go, I had already just kind of looked back here. I know that there's lots of areas where it has some sticks actually in the garden, but nothing that doesn't look fixable. I hadn't staked this up. It was awfully sturdy. We'll see if I can't put a stake over here now. My main problem, my main worry, my main whatever is just how dirty all the leaves got. So I'll clean them all up. I'll play, spray some neem spray on it. Yeah, that's a bad deal. My beans in the back, they're filthy. The leaves are just filthy.
just sticks in here, no big deal. These all look fine. I'll need to tie this up a little bit better now. Another one that's broken. I'll get out here and do a better job of that later. I'm surprised at how good this actually does look. I was expecting so much worse. The rest of that cherry tree coming down is just a crying shame. Just lots of big branches. Oh, I got one. I don't know if I want to try to bother with saving this or just plant something different over here. I've got lots of leggy starts. I could just dig something deep here and put it in. Yeah, that's probably the route I'll take. Everything else look good. looks good. I had just added this variegated oregano, some plain old oregano, some flowers I had bought. So I just need some cleanup. I just need to dust off the leaves and go from there. I think it's all going to be just fine. We're all very, very, very lucky. This could have been way worse. Uh, there was... Tornadoes in the area is what I was told. We had tornado sirens going on and off for a good hour. All in all, though, very, very fortunate. Very, very, very fortunate. I feel very blessed that we didn't have a horrible storm and that the wind didn't do more damage. And I also just feel so blessed that everyone seemed so worried and wished me well and be safe and I really really appreciate all of the well wishes. I love that this community is just full of such wonderful caring people. It really makes my heart swell. So thank you everyone for taking a minute to take a look at the storm damage which really isn't so bad and I will talk to everyone soon. Thank you!